In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to apply a weed box and how to use Speedweed in the Cut File Manager. And to better show you that, on page 2 here, I've just uh, created some very basic shapes and some text here. And we're going to send these to the Cut File Manager, so I'll select those like that, come to this button up here, send to Cut File, we'll click on that, and our Cut File Manager comes up. And as you can see, I'll just resize it, we've got our, I'll click Tile to Media, we've got our two cut files as you can see. Now if I come over to the Arrange Cut File tab, we can better see each one of these objects. Now I might want to apply a weed box or a weed border to this particular object here. And the first thing I need to think of is the weed offset. What's the distance I want to set this away from it? So I'll just type in half an inch. And we come up to the Edit menu and come down and click on Add Weed Box or use the shortcut. And you can see what it's done here. It's applied this weed box or this weed border around this circle, as you can see. Now I can undo that and set it to say 2 inches and do that again. You can see this time the offset is much greater. So you can set the offset easily by just adjusting it in here like this. Now the advantage with a weed box is that we can come to the corners here or to a corner and just flick up the vinyl and then literally tear it away leaving our circle behind. And that's a great way and a quick way of weeding out our objects and our text etc. Now, I'll just undo that. When it comes to Speedweed, Speedweed is like the automated version of weed boxes. Now I'll just click on it up here. You've got Speedweed here. So if I check on that, you can see what's happened here. You, the, the program's come along here and added a weed border at our offset to each one of these objects here. And it's put in an additional cut line. And if I zoom into there, the advantage with this additional cut line in the center here, because it doesn't actually cut through the strokes, that if I flick the vinyl up in this corner or in this corner and literally tear it out, it will it will actually tear out the um, around the text very quickly without tearing out the actual strokes of the letters here. So that's the advantage of Speedweed. It makes weeding out text very quick by using that procedure or that method of just flicking and, and, and literally tearing it out. Now, the reason why we say Speedweed is automated, because if I zoom out here, one, you can see that it's applied it to all these objects. But if I start moving this object around like this, you can see that it reassigns it depending on what the position is. So it'll either do all the objects as it's done here, or as I move them further apart from each other, it'll just grab objects that are within its tolerance and just set them into that into their speed weight area. And that can have advantages. So depending on what you've got, you can set your speed weight line to cut through uh, the job itself how you want it to, like that for example. So that's the automated nature of uh, Speedweed, and it does that all automatically. You don't have to be involved. But sometimes you want to actually have more control than that. So I'll just turn Speedweed off for a second. I'll just go back to this text here. Down here you'll see this button, Speedbox. This is another option. So if I click on that, you can see that it's actually done a Speedweed, but not to everything. It's only to the thing I had selected. So if I move this over here, you can see it's not actually affecting this object here. So it's like a manual version of Speedweed. And another great advantage with this is if I zoom in, I'll zoom in even more than that, you can actually add manual cut lines by simply double clicking. So if I go to the edge here and double click, you can see it's added in a cut line uh, uh, vertically, as so, or I can add one in horizontally like that. So I can set these wherever I like, these cut lines. So I might want it just there, I might want one just here, and one just here so that I can come in here and tear out the vinyl at a rapid pace and weed this, uh, this excess vinyl around this text very quickly using that tool uh, by interactively double clicking to add on the edge or double click to remove as you can see. So you can easily add and remove these speed lines wherever you like them. So you have the advantage of speed weed which is the automated version of it. You have the advantage of a regular weed box so if I click on this and I just go or edit add weed box, I've got the standard weed box which I can also add lines to if I want to as you can see and then you have the other version which is the speed box version there which is like the manual version of speed weed so when it comes to weeding out your uh, your vinyl it's very easy using these tools and that's uh, weed boxes and speed weed in the end of this lesson